Simon from What Culture here, and I'm here with the one and only Ricochet. How are you, my friend? I'm actually pretty good. Not yeah. doing too bad, actually. Yeah, I don't like to hear that. Yeah, yeah. Now, we, I always think this when I see you, you're working somewhere else. I'm like, Ricochet is the busiest man in all of pro wrestling. <laughs> I don't quite understand. And it's not just the fact that you're touring America or something. Yeah. You will be in America, and then yeah. you'll be over here, and then yeah. you'll be somewhere else. And I'm like, but how? Even with travel, as it is in 2017, how are you able to somehow ignore that and be in all these places at once. Because that's no, what it feels it's, like. It's, it's, it's actually real bad. Uh, there, was a, there was a couple <laughs> weeks straight where it was like LA, then the next weekend was up in New York, then the next weekend I was here for the World Cup, Yeah. then the next like weekend I was in Ireland, then the next weekend I was in Japan, and then the next weekend I was back out here, like so like, it's hard. It sucks. Yeah, like that's, I do it. But that you just—I mean, you have to. Um, that's that's what I always tell people. They're like, I don't get paid to wrestle because wrestling's the fun part. That's the when you're in the ring. That's the travel. I get paid, the, I get paid yeah, for yeah. the travel because that's the part that really takes it out of you. Like, the match. The match. It hurts. But then you got to think after the match. You go to the hotel, or you go to get something to eat, and you eat, and you stay there forever. And then you go to the hotel and you get like three hours of sleep. Then you go straight to the airport and yeah. you fly. Like that's the hard part. You know, people don't think about that part. So, um, you just, well, we all do it. We all, all of us do it. Yeah. So we all, like everyone's traveling nowadays. It's, you just kind of do it. It's, it's also kind of the fun in it, you know, it, like it helps, you know, toughen you up, I guess. It must be a bit of a double-edged sword as well, because yeah. obviously if that's not happening, then yeah. you're not getting the dates you want. But at the same time, um, I, like I had a, like my, in Japan, my last show was like June 11th or something. Yeah. I didn't have another show until like. July twelfth, like so, like a full month off, and it was awesome. Yeah, you know, so um, that was the that was like uh, I had my son for like two weeks. Yeah, and I really enjoyed my time off, and then getting back into it, it was like you know, you, like, you kind of miss it, but at the same time, you're like, oh, I'm so thankful for this time off. You're just gonna like, try to make the most of it. Of course, man. But like you said, it's a double edged sword because like if you're not doing it, you're not getting paid, and if you're not, like, but at the same time, you you have to enjoy your time off. Yeah, or you'll go crazy. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And you, during this mad travel period, you did pop up in the New Japan shows that happened in Long Beach. Yes. And you had some interesting words yeah. for, for certain people. How was the, all the... Any fallout from that? Or is no, it just um, I think, like, I think they, like... I always tell, I told people, like, I even, I think I made a tweet, like, the next day, because people were like, oh, he dropped a pipe bomb. It's like, I didn't drop a pipe bomb. There's no pipe bomb. Like, and if I was actually mad, I wouldn't use you probably, pricks. That's what like, I actually, you know, it, was, I mean, it was very pro wrestling. Exactly, yeah, yes. Yeah. So it was like, you know, just, just to, you know, ruffle a little bit of feathers and just yeah. kind of, you know, like, get people talking, because I knew it would get people talking. And it did. And it, it did. Yeah, it did, yeah. And, like, if I was legit mad, I would have used something, I would have obviously did something different than pricks, because, like, I know over here, like, you like you might be bigger than in America. America, we don't really use that word, so yeah. I thought, like, you know, just say that. Well, I just thought it was here. entertaining. Yeah, I thought it was a nice was headline to. to read the exactly, next day. Exactly, exactly. But that's as always, it, it then for. blew up into this. And, yeah, <laughs> but that's kind of what I was going for, you know what so I mean? What? I, but I think they know, like, there's, like, not legit, like, no, of course, an animosity or anything. No, no. Like Do you know so. the update with the Lucha Underground stuff at the moment when it's coming back, when we can see? Um, I mean, no, they're supposed to start season four sometime at the end right? of the year, but I'm, I'm not really sure. Cause like I said, my contract was done, yeah, 2016, so they really don't keep me in the loop anymore. So um, what I hear is just hearsay through everybody else. So um, I mean, hope they come back. Like I said, like it's a really cool show, really cool concept for a wrestling show. So I hope they expand and explode and you know become great it's yeah. just you know what i mean so hopefully soon so now that is kind of you know slowly getting through season three yeah, it's yeah. With yeah. It's break. On, yeah. What, what does ricochet do where do you look to the future where do you go what's the plan um right now i'm just i'm, I'm kind of enjoying my time like new japan's been having me over there yeah you've been there a lot yeah. frequently so that's always like yeah, that's pretty great it's, you know it's great to be in a company that like they treat us so well like we don't have you don't worry about anything over there um and again, like if I want to, I can spend some time. I can spend a month off, yeah. you know, at home. You're in so control. I'm, I'm right? really enjoying that. Like yeah. I'm really gonna try to try to ride this as long as I can until like I figure. But I'm I'm not getting any younger. Like I'm almost 30 years old. So ah, dude, you're a spring chicken. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but I'm like I've been wrestling 14 years. It takes a toll, right? So your bump card is there. So sooner or later, I might have to start making some like major decisions on like what I'm gonna do. So that's exciting. But right man. now, I'm just kind of like enjoying it. Cool. And my last question for you is a bit of a a bit of a, a niche one. Yeah. But I was on Twitter the other day. I was hanging out on social media as people do, 
I saw Jim Cornette thought he'd have a little pop at Kenny Omega. <laughs> Kenny Omega popped with a very classy response. I was pleased with a very classy response. And then obviously you had your nice little gif in there as well. I just wanted to get your opinion on all of that and what you, um, you believe this bizarre feud between... But, it's not even a feud. It's Jim it's Cornette that, says stuff and well, Kenny Omega's yeah, really nice about because, it. Because um, he said... He was just like... I said, because uh, Matt Jackson, uh, the young yeah. buck, said... Oh yeah, really good job, Cornette. Getting heat with the boys, like you're doing a really good job. And I'm like, is it heat if you're just being like a that's, complete imbecile? That's like, right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. And someone was like, oh, because he has a different opinion. Like you think he's an imbecile? Grow up. And I'm like, no, it's not what he says. It's like how he says it. Like, I agree. It's not that he has a different opinion because everybody has a different opinion on stuff. That's not the thing. It's how you say it and how yeah. you portray yourself. Exactly, you're being yeah. an idiot. Like. Like, if you don't like it, you don't like it, but you don't have to put other people down and, like, cuss them out and call them names because you don't like it. Like, that's being an idiot. Like, mm. get over yourself and just be cool. Like, why can't you just be cool? Yeah, you exactly. Know what I mean? If you don't like it, you don't like it. That's cool. Just be cool with everybody. I totally agree. What a world that would be <laughs> right. if we were all cool. If we were all just cool. You have Ricochet, one of the greatest pro wrestlers in the world, says, be cool. Just be cool, so dude. be cool. Excellent, yeah, dude. Go and be cool. Thank Take you care. So much. All the best with everything. No problem. Yeah, Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. That's all right. You take care.